my dear friend in Christ to understand the concept of the assumption of the blessed virgin mary it is important that we understand what the immaculate conception means isn't it wonderful to know that you and i were in the mind or in the plan of god even before we were in the womb of our mothers if you are convinced of this truth then you will find it easy to understand what the immaculate conception of mother mary means and what the assumption means now the feast of the immaculate conception falls during the season of advent when we are all preparing to celebrate our salvation story in the birth of jesus but think about this the lord's planning for our salvation began much much before when he chose that a little baby named jesus should be given to us in the person of a virgin named mary she is that stainless that sinless that pure mother mary from the very first instant of her existence her conception itself she was in the state of sanctifying grace and was free from the corrupt nature that original sin brings with this special sanctifying grace mary was preserved she was protected she was shielded from getting corrupted the lord had to do this because she was going to be that chosen that sacred vessel to give birth to the savior of the world my dear friend in christ now here's what some may debate with you saying the word immaculate conception is not found anywhere in the bible you have an answer for that even words like trinity are not found anywhere in the bible yet they form the essence of our faith Let's keep in mind that if scripture does not record an event it does not follow that the event did not take place or did not happen for example scripture does not record Paul or Peter's journey to Rome and they were both martyred there while the bible was still being written at that time Catholics believe in both sacred scripture and in sacred tradition that is the teaching of the apostles handed down to us through the generations the immaculate conception of our lady is a dogma of our faith which is in sacred tradition and also flows from a very obvious belief that mother mary had to be pure it has to be so because only a sinless spotless immaculately conceived woman can be worthy of conceiving a sinless spotless immaculate jesus Now the belief in the assumption of mother mary is perfectly in tune with god's plan because how can god allow the body and soul of the mother of the savior of the world to be discarded to decay to ascend into heaven is to enter heaven by one's own power and no one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven the son of man jesus christ but to be assumed into heaven is to enter heaven both body and soul meaning complete personhood and not the soul alone and this is only by a direct act of god now pope pius the 12th declared on november 1st 1950 that the immaculate mother of god the ever virgin mary having completed the course of her earthly life was assumed body and soul into heavenly glory But my dear friend in Christ interestingly faith and belief in the assumption already existed towards the end of the 4th century itself so at the end of all this what ultimately matters for us is to know that Mary is a wonderful model of faith of courage of humility and of obedience to the will of God may we live our lives after her example May you have a good and godly day.